While many people don't like to talk about it, unemployment is something very real that has the potential to be very damaging for the ill-prepared. Due to poor planning and denial, many people once unemployed find themselves in a severe financial struggle. Credit card companies are calling them at home, at their old offices, and in some cases contacting them via mail and email. So not only are they being stalked by creditors, they are also, more than likely, getting calls of rejection from potential employers. What a way to spend a day. So how can you keep yourself from being in a similar situation? The key to surviving unemployment or an abrupt interruption in employment without major blemishes on your credit report is setting up an emergency fund and developing a plan which includes purchasing credit insurance and contacting your creditors to let them know about your situation. The first thing that all households should do regardless of whether you have credit cards or not is to establish an emergency fund to cover your household expenses for up to six months. At a bare minimum, this should include the sum totality of your mortgage, car loans, credit cards, and student and other installment loans for six months. By having this emergency fund available in an easily accessible form, like a savings account, you can ensure that your bills are still covered for some time while you are seeking employment. Also, when you begin to apply for credit cards, you should look beyond the available credit, interest rate, and perks to the credit insurance. Many companies now offer credit insurance that will cover your monthly payments for a certain period of time while you are unemployed or temporarily disabled. While you will still be accruing interest charges on your account during this time, what you are concerned with and paying for is the protection that this insurance provides from negative markings on your credit report from the 30-day, 60-day, and 90-day mark of non-payment. In the event that your emergency funds run out or you don't have one, to at least ease the amount of stress placed on you from multiple calls from your credit card companies, you should be proactive by contacting them and informing them of your situation. While this may not help your credit score, it will at least give you peace of mind. Additionally, the companies may be more willing to work with you as you try to get things back together because you have been upfront about your situation rather than avoiding them by screening your calls. At some point or another, you or someone you know may be faced with unemployment. When unemployment raises its ugly head, to ensure that you are left standing, you must have a plan. This plan should consist of developing an emergency fund that includes enough money to cover your living expenses, including your mortgage, car, student and other installment loans, and monthly credit card payments for at least six months. In addition to having this money available for a rainy day, you also need to be more forwarding thinking in your future actions. For instance, any time you think about completing an application for a new credit card, you should consider purchasing credit insurance as a backup plan in the event that you are out of work. While you may believe that your skill set will allow you to obtain a new job within a week or so of being released, purchase the insurance anyway in case you are wrong and your emergency fund is not fully funded to last for six months. These are just a few facts about unemployment that you might not have known. Hopefully you found these helpful. If you would like to learn even more about how you can increase the bottom line of your own business, then you are more than welcome to contact us and we will take a look at your unique situation and offer some sensible solutions that would work best for you.